Who doesn't love emojis and who doesn't love confetti? If you don't love that, I don't know what's wrong with you. Let's see how to build it in Webflow. Okay, here's the Webflow project real quick. We've got this wrapper. This is a, has a minimum height of 100VH because I want it to take up the whole screen and position relative. And then I'm also centering everything, all this text and content. The first thing we have in there is this HTML embed. This is what has an HTML canvas tag. This isn't available to us in Webflow. So we have to use a custom code editor to drop that in. I'm giving it a class of canvas-class and an ID of canvas-target. These are gonna be used, the ID is gonna be used for our code and the class is used right here. I'll show you how that works. And then we just have text. I dropped a link to the library here, spacer and a button. This button has an ID of confetti button. And then canvas class right here, this is, kind of what's controlling how our canvas works. So I just have it position absolute and 100%, 100%. If you wanna say work with this and do something different, something I like to do is maybe give it like a red color and drop the opacity down. And then just drop it to where your canvas would actually be, which is right here in wrapper. And like right now we can see it's on top. So maybe I wanna uh, drop that behind everything just like that by giving it Z index of negative one. And then also, you know, maybe you want it to be, I don't know, 60%, uh, 60% of the height instead of 100%. But we want 100% because we want it to fill that whole section. So I'm just gonna put this back within the div of class controls hide, and then this is hidden so it doesn't actually show up on our page. Before we hop over to the code, let's be sure to remove that red background. I'm just gonna option click on color here. So that's gone. And then I also wanna show you that we're loading within the page settings the uh, CDN for the confetti library. That's, got, that's obtained right from the documentation here. You just wanna copy and paste this. And then also we're loading our code sandbox uh, code file. The first thing we're, do, we're gonna do is we're gonna use query selector on the document and we're gonna look for that uh, canvas because we gave it the ID of canvas target. Next, we're gonna get the, the, uh, a reference to the button using query selector using that ID of hashtag confetti dash button. Okay, and now we're instantiating the JS confetti class. And we're getting an instance of it using this new keyword. And JS Confetti, you can just call normally and it'll create its own canvas, but we want to pass it the canvas that we built by uh, in these little brackets here, passing it the option of canvas. And now that variable is referring to this variable that we defined up here. Okay, next step, we're going to define a function called confetti. Right now it's just an empty function, but I will show you that we're going to put some emojis in there. So whenever we call this function, we want to call jsconfetti.addconfetti, and then we can pass it whatever options we want. In this case, we're going to give it an array of emojis that we want to display. So these are some of my favorite emojis, and we're going to blast the screen with these whenever we click the button. The last thing to do is to add an event listener to the button on click, to, and then we'll pass a reference to that function, confetti. So let's go ahead and save and refresh and wonder in all of our confetti. Hey, that's it. Uh, be sure to check out the documentation for other things you can do with this library. It's really lightweight and easy to customize with emojis, or it has um, specific confetti you can use with just different colors. You could randomize it. You could have a lot of fun with this. All right, catch you in the next one.